Quote the poet Nicholas Breton, It is now May. It is the month wherein nature hath her fill of mirth, and the senses are filled with delights. I conclude, it is from the heavens a grace, and to earth a gladness. It is the earliest days of May that display the most tender side of creation. The blossoms gracefully dance from wind-blown branches, and the leaves so tender in their youth that the morning sun shines right through them. The gardens of May are filled with hope, and gentle morning dew sits upon the sprouted leaves. The birds erupt every morning in a chorus of song, singing hallelujah to the maker above.
the spring projects continue here on the mountain as we are hoping to get much accomplished before the heat of summer rolls in. are drizzly with raindrops, and one can still enjoy the cozy warmth of a blanket and a bowl of hot stew, all while the afternoons are warm enough to sit amongst the busy bees, the apple blossoms, and listen to the song of spring. Zephaniah 3.17 says this, The Lord your God is in your midst, a mighty one who will save. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will quiet you by his love. He will exult over you with loud singing. Dear friends, we wanted to thank you so much, as always, for coming back to our little house on the mountain. For more information or for the gluten-free tea biscuit recipe that you saw in today's video, please head to www.ourlittlehouseonthemountain.com. If you have not seen our channel, Little House Story Corner, I will put links to that and to the recipe in the description box and pinned in the comments below. And thank you to those who have partnered with us to make a Little House Story Corner possible and to our patrons on Patreon. We love you and Lord willing, I will see all of you right here on the next one. Bye friends.